I want to go to places that believe what I believe, that support my worldview. It's not that I'm closed minded, but we all right. do that. I mean, we do that when we choose a spouse. We don't go like, oh, just date everybody. Like we're trying to find somebody that what? That 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 that, that we're equally yoked with, with with faith, with family, with how we believe things. It doesn't mean we hate somebody else. Right. And I said, um, and I was in this, uh, you know, in, in the TEDx incubator for another project. And I got the idea and I'm like, well, I need to pitch this one too. So I went ahead and, and uh, pitched it to Jared Yellen and, and that team. And my phone was blowing up. They're like, this is awesome. Like, we got to do this. And um, so it was really a, 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 a dissatisfaction in the marketplace. I knew there were millions and millions of people that felt the same way I did on both sides or any side. Yeah. And I said, let's solve the problem, but let's solve the problem where we include everybody and we're not just going to go down one road. You know, there's some other, you know, apps out there that do this where you can find freedom businesses or you can find, you know, whichever, uh, you know, sort of political flavor that you want or, or whichever. And I think that's incredible, but it's a very small piece of the pie. Degrees with a Lava Hot Podcast and host Joseph Connell Jr. You'll hear from ordinary people who are doing extraordinary things, from tech startup CEOs and marketing professionals to authors, investors, and sales trainers. This show will be packed with information to help you level up in life or business, taking you from on fire up to Lava Hot. Get ready to burn this mother f- down. Hello and welcome to the Lava Hot Podcast. I'm your host, Joseph Connell. I'm going to start this episode a little bit differently. I want to ask a question. Have you ever found yourself in a position where you're looking for a business in your local market that's not just qualified, that they can get out there and perform the service quickly or at the best price and best value, but one that has also aligned with you, whether that's a, a political alignment, uh, a core value, a faith alignment, a sports alignment, whatever it is. Have you ever found yourself in that position? As a marketing guy, I've seen uh, in, in a number of different different situations that there are ways that you can attract certain people. But the guest that I have today is a, a tech founder of a company called Libertas GPS. And he's coming to the marketplace with something that's rather unique. Uh, I think the best way I heard him say it is it's almost like match.com for your business. I think that's a great tagline I think he should run with. <laughs> but um, real quick, just let me give you a little bit of the background of uh, Neil Robert Anderson. Uh, aside from the fact that he's a husband, a father, a tech founder, he also has a micro uh, cottage community developer, and he's a best-selling author coming to us from Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, Mr. Neil Robert Anderson, welcome. Hey, thanks. It's great to be here. And uh, thank you for having me. This is this is sweet. Thanks. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, I it's for me, I always like having people on the show that are either in the marketing space or they have something that applies to marketing, just being a marketing guy. And uh -huh. I'm really I'm really anxious to get into uh, this app that you're just about to launch right now. We're at the beginning of October. It should be launched by sometime mid-October, I believe. And yes, I, I find it to be very unique, an app that would allow individuals to search based on value-driven criteria when they're looking for a product or service, uh, a, a business that's local to their market. I want to start by asking you, know, you to explain it maybe a little better than I might have, but also what inspired the idea initially? That's, you know, that kind of gets right back to your why. And, uh, you know, Simon Sinek says people buy why you do what you do, not what you do. And it's kind of hard to explain that right away. But, um, you know, I got frustrated, you know, especially back with the masks and all that with, you know, not being able to go to places that, you know, that, that met my values and, you know, that, that, um, you know, just made me start thinking like, well, why are we doing this? And, you know, why are we doing this when we're outside and you're making me wear a mask, you know, outside and all that. And this is not a debate with masks or not masks. If you want to wear them, sure. wear them, if you don't, fine. And then I started thinking that, well, there's a lot of other things that these businesses are doing or not doing 
that I don't like or I like. And I really want to go to places, whether I hire a realtor or a a doctor or I hire somebody to teach my kids or a plumber, HVAC. I mean, you name the business, right? Or sitting down and having a meal with my family in a restaurant or going to a coffee shop to meet a friend. I want to go to places that believe what I believe, that support my worldview. It's not that I'm closed minded. But we all do that. I mean, we do that when we choose a spouse. We don't go like, oh, just date everybody. Like we're trying to find somebody that what that 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 we're equally yoked with, with with faith, with family, with how we believe things. It doesn't mean we hate somebody else. And I said um, and I was in this, um, you know, in, in the TEDx incubator for another project. And I got the idea and I'm like, well, I need to pitch this one, too. So I went ahead and and uh, pitched it to Jared Yellen and, and that team. And my phone was blowing up. They're like, this is awesome. Like, we got to do this. And um, so it was really a a, a dissatisfaction in the marketplace. I knew there were millions and millions of people that felt the same way I did on both sides or any side. And I said, let's solve the problem. But let's solve the problem where we include everybody. And we're not just going to go down one road. You know, there's some other, you know, apps out there that do this where you can find freedom businesses or you can find, you know, whichever, uh, you know, sort of political flavor that you want or, or whichever. And I think that's incredible, but it's a very small piece of the pie. And right. um, this is not meant to be, um, you know, a political thing, although it, it includes that, but we wanted it to be whether you are LGBTQ friendly, whether you're a Trump supporter or a Biden supporter, or you like the Yankees or Red Sox, or you like gluten-free or you like dairy or you like to eat, as much meat as you can, or you're vegetarian, we're going to help people find whatever they want to find and really help them find their tribe and right. do business with people that they want to do business with. That's right. pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I, I think that we already do this oftentimes. Like we go maybe to a certain restaurant because, you know, the certain atmosphere here locally in sure. Ocean City, Maryland. Uh, yeah, a lot of it is driven. It's weird just because of our location. We get some Philadelphia fans. We get some Ravens fans. Mm-hmm. The odd one to me in Ocean City is that we have a bar that's specifically a Pittsburgh Steelers bar as a Maryland guy. <laughs> right. I just I don't understand. it. Right. But for all those Pittsburgh Steelers fans, that just happens right. to be the bar that they go to. You know, they're Absolutely. not going to go across the sh- It's funny because across the street, there's another bar called Pit and Pub. It's a Ravens bar. So they're right. directly across the street each- from each other. And the Pittsburgh uh, Steelers right. fans, they all go to that bar. The Ravens one time to go to the other bar. And that's a very, you know, elementary level of what we're talking about. It's going right. in environments or dealing with businesses that just happen to align. And to your point, right. it's not just on a political standpoint. And that one, it's, right. it's something as rudimentary as football. But, right. you know, it gets right down to the core of it. And absolutely, you're you're setting it up for anybody across the spectrum. Like there's an individual that comes into my marketplace that happens to be a vegetarian and they want to deal with the restaurants locally that happen to have yeah. a better vegetarian or vegan option. You're, you're right. setting it up for them as well. So I, yeah. I want to dive into having worked on the end where, you know, I'm helping the business get set up on different platforms, things like that. I want to know, like. Right. What what does this uh what does the profile look like for both the business, but then also is there like a profile that gets set up for like a consumer as well? Oh, that's yeah, that's that's awesome. Um, so there are there are two things. Mm-hmm. The first one is is that anybody for free can can then sign up, um, and they will be able to go to libertasgpsapp.com. They can do that now and get on the wait list. And they will um, be able to get their own, you know, ID and password. And they will, at that point, be able to input their values, right? Whether pro Second Amendment, whether they're, you know, their dietary choices, their political choices, um, mm-hmm. you know, whether they're, uh, you know, pro America, whatever it is, they can fill that profile out. And yeah. then, uh, from a business standpoint, you know, let's say it is that coffee shop in Ocean City, Maryland. Th- we already have millions of businesses already on the platform. But what right. happens is I could go into that business. So pick your, your favorite coffee shop there. Think of that. I can go in there right now. I'm in the test phase, so I can do it. But you would be able to once we launch. And you would be able to go in there and select the values that you believe they have because you go there. And that's what we want. We want people to, to put those in there. So, you know, somebody that, that conceal carries and they don't want to have to leave their you know gun in the car and they want to 
you know, carry it in there. I know, mm-hmm. you know, I'm going to get nasty emails from people, but you know, it's a legal thing and we all get trained exclusively on how to do this. So, um, but they want to, you know, be able to carry that and not leave it in the car. Uh, right. They will be able to find a place to, to go ahead and do that. Well, if they walk into a place and it says, you know, uh, concealed carry friendly on it, they can go into the app and actually hit a badge and it says, um, you know, uh, concealed carry friendly. Right? right. So the next time somebody searches for one, then it's there. Well, if the business wants to drive and control all of their value badges, they simply, at this point, it's $247.97 for the year. They're able to wow. claim that business. And then there's a couple things that'll happen. Number one, they can fill out their profile. They're able to, you know, uh, beef up all those value badges because, you know, you're going to know a lot more about your business than everybody else. Uh, mm-hmm. And then you are also, this is what's really cool is imagine it's, it's slow on a Tuesday and you want to drive more people into your coffee shop. Well, um, if you go there all the time, you have the ability to follow that business. Like kind of, you wouldn't Facebook, right? So right. I can go out in real time and send out an alert to you and say, Hey, it's, you know, appetizers, buy one, get one free or coffee. You know, it's a, you know, buy a latte, you get a, you know, a, a, a muffin, you know, for free. And you can do that to, tr- to help drive business in. So we're allowing people to market in real time um, to their customers. So I have a question on that. So would that act, yeah. would it be like a push notification to anybody that yeah. follows? Email. Yep. Email. They'd oh, be able to, because they would, cause they would they're, yeah, because they're going to have a, um, they're going to have access to um, all of that, the contact information if you choose it. Right. But remember, we're, we're, we're in our tribe. Right. Like, yeah. you know, I'm that I'm that Pittsburgh fan. You know, I'm going up. I can't wait to go to Ocean City, go to that bar again. Right. I right. don't care if you solicit me. Right. Because you're, you're my tribe. Right. So this yeah. is not something where, you know, you're like, I'm getting all these random emails. And the other thing that's really cool. Think about this on launch. So we'll have, you know, we'll have five million people that um, uh, that have in their profile something about, you know, grilling. Right. How cool is it going to be when Traeger comes out with a new grill? where they are able to send out an email to all those people saying, Hey, we want you to be part of the test market on these. Um, right. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable how big it can be. But you know, the, the main thing is I want people spending money with people that, um, that like them, right. That will be responsible with the money that they you give them. And they're not, you know, donating to causes that, you know, uh, diminish their rights or anything like that. And it's the same on the other side. Everybody wants to be able to, to uh, support who they want to support. And we're going to mm-hmm. give them an easy way uh, to do that. Very cool. So for Very a business simple. owner to, to go in and, uh, you know, set up their profile, if they opt to do, yeah. let's say, the paid version where they get yeah. to control the badges, is, is that right? Is that done right from the app or is there a desktop yeah. version as well? Actually, what, what we're launching, we're calling it an app, but we're launching it on a mobile friendly. It'll be a, it'll be a website, but on okay. your phone, you won't know the difference which is right. even better because what this is going to do for the business is it's going to give them free SEO. For sure. Because yep. when somebody searches it, it's going to come up, you know, Libertas backslash, you know, the name of your ocean city, uh, Pittsburgh bar. Yeah. You know, right? I, I, I always call that barnacle SEO where you, yep. know, you guys are yep. actively doing and pursuing whatever you can to help your 100%. website rank right. on the right. first page of Google for whatever category it is. And then right. that business gets to, Almost like racing, you get the draft yeah. on there for, for sure. on, on your efforts, yep. whatever money you're right. putting into that ranking, they get the draft on it, especially if they can uh try to get themselves positioned better sure. in that in that query on your site. Out of, right. which actually takes me to my next question. Uh-huh. Um, let's say that several businesses align with some of the same values that I'm looking for. Let's just say I'm looking for you know, uh, a, a restaurant that serves in the area, that's a Ravens bar. And let's um, say they're kid friendly because you want to bring your kids there. Yeah. And let's say that's that one of them. Four, too. Yeah. Let's say that four or five of those businesses are on that page. What would dictate the, the ranking is the paid typically positioned yeah, in a better a spot. Yeah. So if somebody yeah. did not, did not, um, uh, you know, if they were just on it, like the free version, then they're not in the featured. I yep. mean, it, it's very similar to, to how, you know, back in the day with selling banners on like lawyers.com or something like that, you know, everybody's on it, but if you want premium, 
uh, you can go ahead and do that. Yeah, and, and I think that's that. That's the standard. Uh, and, and yeah. my past life, I worked with the company that had YP.com. We also published sure. on yep. Dexnose.com. Yeah, right. all, all those Absolutely. platforms all have that same yeah. capability right. where, you know, yeah. the, the, the premier ones tend to have the better position. Yeah. So. Yeah. But then again, you know, the, the, the neat thing is, is, you know, people tend to go back to places that they had uh, an enjoyable time, you know, like you go to Hilton Head or you go to, you know, I live here in North Carolina. So they go to Atlantic Beach or they're down to Topsail Island or they go to, you know, the Adirondacks where I'm from. And, right. you know, so they'll, you know, they typically to go back. Well, they're going to follow the business, right. which is the business now has their customer in front of them 24 hours a day. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for the whole time. Right. They don't have to wait for me to come back for the summer. They're right. able to keep in, in front of me for uh, the eight months. So then when I do go back now, um, they're going to get my business again. Even if I forgot a little bit, right. I'm going to remember. Um, so I think that's going to be a, a huge uh, advantage for the business owner. I mean, we, we made this. So a business owner is like, is that like a month or we wanted to say like, do I have to pay that a week? Like, it's going to be an absolute no brainer. And they're going to have so much fun because they're going to have raving fans in their business that give them less guff that complain less, you know, they, that give them the benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? No, but no business wants to have, I mean, I always refer right. those people, the competitor, right? They go, hey, they'll probably give you a better deal. Cause I don't want to deal with it. I want to deal with people that, that are excited to be there. They, we match in values. We match in, in, uh, um, in how we see the world and it just, it makes the whole experience that much better, but we are going to help you find your place too, if it's not at point A. Right. Yeah. No. And you said that that price per year was two what? Well, it's 247 for the founding businesses. So yeah, gotcha. you know, that, that can, uh, like anything, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's the return on investment, um, that we're right. trying to give to the business. And, you know, who knows down the road, we may do something where if you're, you know, you're selling a cup of coffee versus, you know, selling a, a, a golf stream. <laughs> it's it's going to be a little bit different because the cost yeah. to acquire a customer, somebody will pay more. Well, so. I'll say this in, in my experience in uh, having worked with businesses, helping them get yeah. uh, a, a premium listing on sites like Yelp or yep. YP.com, superpages.com, right. Dex, sure. all of those uh, aggregate sites that are out there. Right. 257 for the year is in some cases that that's less than what some of them are charging per month. Oh, easy. I mean, I used to uh, work for um, uh, selling legal stuff. I mean, I had plenty yeah. of lawyers paying 10,000 a month for SEO. I mean, not, for without sure. blinking yep. an eye. I mean, Absolutely. Because they were so, happy to get the client. Yep. And uniquely different here is if you go to, let's say, Yelp. And you, yes. you acquire a customer from them seeing your profile. You did not then have the option, at least that I'm aware of, to be able to then send them consistent offers as you go. Right. Right. So it, you know that email offered capability is significant. I mean, I, yes. I, I think it, and there's it's a lot a no of businesses brainer. that don't even do that now with their pre-existing customers. So you're yeah. almost in essence right. setting something right. up for them that most of right. them don't even have. They would have not right. a clue on how to do it, Right. which I guess I am curious of that. Would they create the offer inside the app or is this something they create externally? Uh, so we'll, we'll have the ability for them to buy different packages. Um, you know, and again, this is what we're in now is we're in like the beginning stage, which is always yeah. the most fun because everybody likes to get in early to stuff. And, you know, like I was yeah. there back in the day, but, um, you know, th there will be the ability for those people either being connected to somebody that's on the platform mm -hmm. that does that yep. or in-house. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to have some training videos and some Zoom calls and things like that to help, you know, the businesses get more customers. I mean, that's we're experts in that as well. So um, that's, you know, it's not just the app part. You know, we have a whole company, our company that builds the app, but then also the go-to-market strategy, the sales strategy the whole thing. And, and, you know, the biggest thing for, especially a smaller business is I'm so busy, like managing my business. I don't have time to go out and prospect. I don't have time to go out and get all these new um, leads. And, and then I'm, I got marketing people and they're trying to sell me stuff. And then 
you know, six months later, I've got nothing but a big bill to pay. And so mm -hmm. we, we realize that too. I, I think the value that the businesses are going to see um, are, are going to be incredible. And that's really what we want to do. We want them to go, they, we want them to feel bad because they don't feel like they're paying enough. And if we get there, <laughs> we know that, we're doing the right way. So you that's know what a mean? great like, proposition. They feel yeah, they just feel bad because they're like, I can't believe like I'm getting all this stuff. My business is getting blessed with all this business and I'm getting best practices and, you know, I'm just, you know, paying a small amount. So, yeah, that's our so goal. Out, out of curiosity, will there be like a like a review portion to this, to the profiles? Uh, as we have it right now, no. Um, you know, there's uh, the unfortunate thing is, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, statistics are a lot of times made up, so I'm going to make this up, but let's say half of them are not real. Um, you know, I've been in enough circles where, you know, they have people go on, they buy something, so they're verified and then they just bash it. And, um, yeah. you know, that's, uh, you that, know, uh, I, I think to piggyback on that, that's my experience yeah. as well is yeah. a lot of those sites that, that I actually think it would be a sigh of relief for the vast majority of business right. owners to know right. that, you know, all of their good reviews aren't just mysteriously not publishing and showing, right. but, you know, right. some random bad review of a customer you don't know the name of happens to leave a bad right. review. And the only way to get it down is if you, you know, wink in a smile by this program. Right. You right. know, I, I think a lot of local yep. to mid-sized companies have been, you know, sick and tired of that that spiel for about eight to 10 years now. So I love right. the fact that it's not going to be review based. It's going to be, you know, customer core value, you know, what yeah. have you. Based. And yeah. I think it's going to keep the business owner sharp as mm -hmm. far as, you know, ensuring that number one, a lot of these business owners hadn't really thought about their values. Like they know they have them and everything, but like, Holy cow, I didn't realize this is important. I didn't realize this is important. So they start thinking about that. Um, I think it's going to really change. Number one, it's going to change the way people buy products and services from now on. Um, but it's going it, to, it's, it's sort of like, you know, I, I have a Airbnb property and, and a lot of people bash it. They're like, oh my gosh, you know, Airbnb. And I'm like, I love it because it's a two way street. They have to be good guests or else yeah. I don't review them well. And I have to be a good host or they won't review me well. Right? right. So we're hoping to get something similar to that. But, you know, the, there's another app. Uh, there's another show, I guess, but we have another app in the incubator that I believe launched. And um, it's basically an app where you can, um, you know, just picture like moms trying to get like favorite recipes, favorite summer camps, everything favorites that they want that they're going mm -hmm. on Facebook and asking for is all in an app right now. So um, that will probably at some point, I'm not, you know, don't hold me to it, but that would be integrated somehow as well, where then you would sort of go, okay, well, I see this thing and now I can go on this and maybe ask a question um, about it. But anyway, and you know, the other thing is, is you're having people recommend these businesses by posting up their, their values ahead of time anyway. So I mm -hmm. think, you know, the fact that they're on there means most of the time, unlike Google, they're, they were sort of recommended right. um, to be there, not just they you know, said, hey, I need to be on Google and I send a postcard to me and I can verify it and then we're in. So one other question I had uh, is, um, uh -huh. you know, the, the verticals of businesses that you would find in there. Um, yes, I would imagine it's going to be uh, restaurants. It's going to be home service, yep. professional services. Um, is there any categories yeah. that you you won't have in the initial launch? Uh, oh, in the initial launch. So all of the businesses would be in there if they're on Google. Oh, okay. Put it that way. Okay. Okay, cool. As far as the top part of the the site, uh, I believe now it's got coffee shops, restaurants, public venues, um, gas stations, grocery, and maybe one other. Mm -hmm. And um, and those are like quick ones, right? So I'm in Seattle and I hit a thing for coffee and you know all these things come up. Um, what my goal is is where we add schools in there mm -hmm. as well. And, oh, there's a professional services, right? So I want to be able to have it. So you hit that professional services and then you can drill down and go lawyers, doctors, CPAs, uh, contractors, you know, plumbers, like that type of thing. And then yep. they'll pop up. But our goal is to, it, it's everyone, even down to college professors. So if you want to find out, you know, the, <laughs> about a college professor that your kids have. Um, we're doing colleges. We're doing all the public schools. We're doing private schools. 
and you will be able to go in there and see what their values are. Are they into critical race theory? Are they not? Are they into, you know, do they they teach the Bible? Uh, You know, are they open to faith? Are they not? You know, uh, everything. Um, We think, you know, and not doing this to be mean, but, you know, people deserve before they spend their money, they should know what your deal is, especially if you're going to send your kid into a school. Yeah. Yeah. No, a hot topic now. Yeah. (laughs) Being a father of four, I could not agree with that more, you know, and I have uh, a few of them that are about to approach that, that college year. Um, Oh boy. So they're, they're, it's definitely creeping up, you know, a lot quicker than I thought it was going to, but you know, it's coming. Yeah. I know it comes fast. So as we sit right now, you are expecting a launch of this, um, at, at what point in October? Um, we're hoping the middle, um, we were, we were planning on the end of September and, um, just like with anything else, you know, we have really, really, really high standards. And if the user experience is not there, we'd rather hold off. Um, Mm -hmm. you know, we're not building a bridge, uh, on, on, uh, down in Florida, you know, where uh, they've got to get it done quickly. And and they, you know, they got people waiting. Um, we would rather err on the side of let's get it hundred percent right because we don't want you frustrated. Yeah. Um, so we're doing some more testing with the user experience um, to test out a couple different ways on how to do some things. But that's what we're hoping is um, the middle of, uh, um, you know, within within two weeks would be uh, cool. would be sweet. Yeah. Yep. Well, and the good news is, especially when it's something that, you know, is software based or web based. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Grant Cardone actually says this about Apple. He says, you know, sometimes you don't need to be 100 percent perfect. People buy these iPhones all day long. Right. Knowing that they're messed up, that's why you have an iOS update once every single month or two months because they had something that they had to fix. They pushed the thing out to the right. market, charged you twelve hundred bucks, and they knew that they right. had to fix it before they sent it. But right. but no, exactly. I definitely like that. You know, as as you progress to the the actual launch, um, right? You know, I, I'm looking forward to this. Being a guy that works with local to mid sized companies, right. um, I, I can think of a few that. I know would already have some badges that they would want to get aligned on their, uh, on their mm-hmm. profile. And I sure. actually think, you know, in, in my market, I'd say it's a little bit, it, it just it, to go on the political side in my yeah. market, it tends to be this area of Maryland. It's a little bit more red than blue. Yeah. There's yep. other parts of Maryland that are a little bit more blue than red. Sure. And yep. uh, you know, I, I think that I, I live on the Eastern shore of Maryland. There's a lot of hunters, you know, so yeah, Yep. You know, gun friendly, I think matters. You yeah. know, there's a lot that yeah. matters that, right. um, you know, and I think they, they look to local businesses that kind of think very similar to yeah. how they do uh, yeah. on both sides of the fence, if you will. So, yeah, and we want I, everybody to be respectful. Idea. Yeah. And we yeah. want, you know, our goal, is, we have many of the goals, but, you know, one of them is we, we want people to get along and we want it to, we want people to be uh, respectful and respected and, yeah you know, it's, it is our, sort of our line in the sand is if it's legal and it promotes freedom, then that's good. Right. I mean, we believe in freedom for the individual. We also believe in helping people that need help. Um, mm-hmm. And if you want to, you know, dance around in, uh, in your underwear out in the middle of the street, right. Uh, and your street is out in the middle of your farm. Like, I don't care. Now, if mm-hmm. you're going to do that, out in the middle of somewhere where we know as our grandparents taught us and our parents, you know, you have to use some tact and be respectful. Well, then we need to take our personal rights and peel them back a little bit. Right. And, yeah. and maybe tone it down a little bit, but we want everybody to do you. And um, we want to, to provide um, ways for businesses to, to provide those forums uh, for people to, you know, to be their best version of themselves. And, uh, and, you know, we are not going to put up with people, um, bashing, making fun of, um, canceling any of that. Um, I can, I can promise you that, um, we'll do everything we can under the law to keep everyone safe, all business owners safe. And, and I'm calling for people to just stop the BS and be adults. And and you know what, if, if somebody doesn't want to bake your cake or somebody doesn't want to, you know, uh, you know, do something else, leave them alone and go find somewhere that will. Um, right. And we're going to show you on the app where you can go um, have that done. And if you want to go be as conservative as you want to be or as liberal as you can, we're going to show you places where they will welcome you with open arms because it's legal and it's America and you shouldn't, um, 
you shouldn't tell people they can't think a certain way just because you don't like it. Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you this. I love the idea of the app. Being a guy that works with local to mid-sized companies, this seems like a, yeah. a, a no-brainer it, it, on both the the business standpoint, but also the consumer standpoint. Uh, I have some notes down here that your goal is to help over 10 million businesses and to help the individuals over 250 million people by 2025. Yeah. Yeah, it's and, very it's very aggressive. You have to do that. You know, they call them a moonshot. Um, but you yeah. know, something like this will go viral, and um, and it, you know, it, it is around the world. I mean, all you have to do is just look, even just on the political front, around the world. Like people are engaged, and people are fed up with certain things. On on two or three, four sides, they're fed up, right? Right. So let's just stop the fed up and and go find some place that'll that'll uh, welcome you with open arms and uh, and hang there and realize that not everybody's going to like you. You don't have to like everybody and uh, it'll all work out. Yeah. Very cool. Well, Neil, I appreciate you taking the time on, uh, on a busy Thanks Wednesday for me. To, yeah. to come and connect with me. me. Um, for individuals that are interested in signing up for the app, by the time this show hits the airways, I would imagine yeah. that the app will be out and launched. Um, so sure. I would strongly recommend you go and check it out. I'm eager to go and check it out. Uh, yeah both as a consumer, but I'm also curious just for clients that I work with, because I think that there's sure. some alignment there. Um, yeah. But that's www.libertasgpsapp.com. I yes. probably should let you say the website. I feel like it would have came no, out you a, got it. a lot cleaner. No, yep. that's perfect. Yeah. Yep. And if anybody's trying to connect with you for any of the other stuff that you have going on, as far as uh, best-selling author if they want to try to get the book where whereabouts would they go there i know that we didn't oh, dive into that i really wanted yeah to that's just yeah i, I, I wrote that. i wrote a uh, a sales and and um uh really personal development time management book like it's it's sort of a a, a a very i guess condensed version of about 10 different types of books um yep. all in one and i wrote it for the network marketing industry but then i wrote a generic one um, that's really for everybody. It uses some network marketing, but network marketing is what we all do anyway, right? The problem sure. is most people don't get paid for it, right? right. Um, so yeah, and that's um, if you want sales skills, if you want time management skills, if you want mindset, um, you can get it all in one spot. That's on Amazon, okay. And um, that's probably the best way to go there. And um, I do have an Instagram at uh, I think it's Libertas uh, at Libertas CPS. Um, I think that's it. If it's not, we can correct it when when. Uh, uh, you post the link, but I appreciate it. This was awesome. And, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. And, make it a great day. Yeah. And I, I think we might need to connect uh, at some point because I know that you have another app as well. Um, yeah. if, if that's out and about, maybe we'll try to reconnect and have another episode. Uh, yeah, or once great. this thing gets up and rolling, you know, maybe maybe we'll have like a, a six month checkpoint or something like that to see how far we are into that aggressive goal. Because I'll tell you this, starting any business is not for the faint of heart, especially uh -huh. in a category that you're in where, you know, the, the app environment, the, uh, you know, all of that is, it, it's an aggressive environment. So I would yeah. imagine just the push and the rollout, all of it takes a lot of time, energy, resources. So, uh, you know, my hat's off to you on, on the mission yeah, that's at hand. And yeah. I know that this is day one of what's, you know, for most of these type of apps, it's, it's a long, long road. Um, it is, but it's, it's worth it. We're going to be able to help absolutely. a lot of people. And, and um, I appreciate everybody that supported uh, me and us, uh, you know, along the journey and, you know, and believed in us. And, you know, the cool thing about this, you hear a lot of people that you'll start businesses, you know, you have your naysayers and all that, like either I don't pay attention to them or I don't have any, cause I don't really, I mean, I've had a couple, but, it's more they're just they're just negative, but everybody's been really positive about it, and that's why I know I'm on the right yeah. track. Because it doesn't matter whether I'm talking to somebody, you know, that that has values that are different one, from somebody else. Mm -hmm. Those two people are excited to use it, and right. it's often hard now in this environment to find people that are excited about the same thing. <laughs> so right. I think we're onto something pretty good here. Yeah, you know, and it, it's it's kind of ironic because at the core of it. The entire app is based on people that like and align with you. And yeah. at the same time, the people that like the idea of the app also like and align with you. So it's, right. you know, it's kind of funny in that regard. So even if right. we just got all of the people out there that just like and align with you, I, I, I think right. that you guys would be on to something either way. 
but right i think yeah, so yeah yeah but again i i appreciate you taking the time and you know yes, i sir. think that this was a, a great episode um uh, i i commend you and i hope for a successful launch and i'm looking forward to seeing the the final product once it gets pushed into the market all right thank you so much yes sir thank you You've been listening to the Lava Hot Podcast with Joseph Connell Jr. Do you want to level up your business in 2022? Then visit us at golavahot.com for a free marketing analysis. Stop.